Just hours after being paroled for his third DWI conviction, a man allegedly got behind the wheel drunk again. And this time, police say he caused a crash that killed a 14-year-old boy in Galveston. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor has more on what we know about the suspect's past and the young victim who lost his life. According to these records, he was serving a three year sentence, so he would have been in jail until 2024, but he was eligible for parole on Friday. He made it and he was let out early. Heartbroken family members consoling each other, grieving the loss of Mason Nelson, who was just 14 years old. He's kind of a goofy kid, not just sweet, and just wanted to make everyone smile. You know, he's just kind of like the guy that no one could not like because he's just so sweet. Vincent Lorfis was Mason's Little League baseball coach. He saw him the night before. Galveston police say Mason was in a Jeep with four others when a Toyota SUV slammed into them. Surveillance footage from a neighbor captures just how fast that SUV was going. The impact so strong, neighbors ran to help. Bam, real loud way, Tim. Bad. No, no, no tires, really, just, mm -hmm. just a, a loud crash. Galveston police arrested the driver, 28 year old Keith Brazier, now charged with murder. Police believe Brazier was drinking and driving, and if that's the case, it wouldn't be the first time. Records show he was convicted of DWI in April of 2016 and September of 2019. Most recently, in January 2021, he was serving a three year sentence at the TDCJ. But on Friday, he got out on parole. Now he's accused of killing a 14 year old the same day of his early release. Brazier's bond has been set at $500,000. As a memorial grows, loved ones and community members can't help but think this deadly crash was avoidable. What, what, what's the system? You know, I don't understand the system. I mean, I don't understand it. You know, they, they're in there for a reason. Four others were taken to the hospital. At least one person is in critical condition. I have reached out to the TDCJ to get comment from them, but we have not heard back so far. In the newsroom, I'm Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.